you had to ask me one citizen in this country who will be the demise of this entire country i would have said Ian Allen. i would have said Ian Allen. oh i would have said i would have said Ian Allen for sure 100 percent so long love so strong hey it's me kimberly um yeah this video is a little get ready with me rant situation cuz I was gonna film yesterday I was gonna film the day before I was gonna film the day before that but I got an allergic reaction on my lip and it was swollen and I couldn't talk properly and then it was looking weird so I said I'll put it off um, and then things happened that I didn't like I know I know I know I jump up my whole self when I do a whole trick I can't say the word because then YouTube not gonna allow me to get money but the disease that's going around um, I did three videos on it that were educational videos and I said this would be my <coughs> And I said this would be my last one because keeping up with the, up the updates would be exhausting because every day we're gonna get one Then we're gonna get two and then one day we're gonna get like five and then one day we're gonna get ten and then the next day We're gonna get like 20 right. That's just how it's gonna happen. That's just how the progression happens It's not a linear progression. It happens in clusters and groups, right? So, um, I don't want to be around giving you all daily updates when that happens just because also as a doctor my work schedule is unpredictable I up to yesterday had no idea what I'll be doing during this time but now I do know um, and I just need to make this video until I get ready with me slash um, talk because I need to continue doing what I'm doing to prepare for what I'll be doing to help this situation around this time you know what I'm trying to say? right so um, yeah so no makeup you'll put on makeup and we'll talk right so what is this going to be about so your faves, your local faves, they are crazy people, they are clowns, they are vying for the position of top clown quite clearly and all of these things happen like almost within a 24 hour span. So um, when I, I, I when I said I was gonna just finish with the corona, the, the, the disease videos, I figured probably would end up having to do a rant I probably would end up having to do a rant because people in this country like they're just very hard of understanding for some reason right I think people all over the world are hard of understanding I would not like to make it out to be just Trinis are but you know I've never traveled I've been born in this country so yeah that's why I can say Trini is so so and so and so but it's probably everybody in the entire world right my lips still hurts though. God, I don't know what I don't know what's going on. I don't know. My mom calls me a jellyfish. Cause when I was small, when I was born, I was born very soft and it felt like I had no bones. So whenever something happens, like when I get random allergic reactions, it's like he's a jellyfish, you're not supposed to be doing normal things other people doing. I'm like I can't be that delicate. <laughs> Clearly not. Right. So um where am I looking for? There's my concealer. I have a little bit of this foundation left. I don't usually wear foundation in my videos, but I bought a new one recently. Anyhow, so um, I knew I was going to be buffing somebody, right? I thought it would be the uncle who insists on wearing the gloves while he handling money in the taxi, or you know the people who use any gloves in the grocery station, or the people who use in the shirt to cover their hands and their mouth when the waiting around people or people who just refuse to keep the social distancing rule or something i thought it would be a rant like that i never thought it would be your faves i never thought it would be people that you all look up to people that you all you know watch and give support to i never thought it would be people like that why is this not opening oh cut it out but unfortunately it is and I would have included in the title or the thumbnail who we gonna talk about right so who shall we talk about first let's talk about Ian Allen first. Um, I don't want to use his name too much. We'll call him Corpse Husband, right? Because he used the makeup that day. You know, the, the, the movie Corpse Bride? Yeah, he put on that makeup and decided he making video. Right? So, Corpse Husband comes out with a video. He's crying, saying how he has been infected with the disease. And he took it upon his own self he making it sound like you know he do something good he took it upon his own self to go to mount hope question mark to get it tested and it came back as positive so now he has to go into isolation which you're still not using the terms correctly yeah? like at, um 
I explained this in what this was the second video or the third I can't remember which video but damn this is looking orange on camera anyway I explained this that isolation is for the ill quarantine is for those with exposure um, or with possible exposure or contact um, and we are waiting for them to pass through the period the 14 day period or we are waiting for them to develop symptoms before we test um, so he will be going into isolation if he's positive and then everybody was like um is he serious is this for real because you know he is kind of a character um as they say in the press conference he's a personality yeah he's a different type of person right so we had no idea if he's serious or not we have no idea if he was if he's serious or not um and there was no confirmation of it in the press conference what's my problem with that my problem is that when we talk about social responsibility and we talk uh, 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 <laughs> we talk about social responsibility and we talk about the fact that our lives literally depends on what few people are doing not that it it, it, it depends we will we our, our demise will be caused by a few people but everybody has to carry out the expectations of society but when it is that the bad thing is to happen it'll, it'll be a few people it'll be a handful of people that causes it that causes the whole thing to just be destroyed and for us all to you know getting infected and for the health system to crash because of the weight of the patients it'll just take a few people a few stupid people and the type of stupid people is like corpse husband if you had to ask me one citizen in this country who will be the demise of this entire country I would have said Ian Allen. I would have said Ian Allen. Oh, I would have said, I would have said Ian Allen for sure, 100%. And there we go. There we go. There he is because he exhibited so much irresponsible behavior knowing that he came back from a country that had a lot of cases, which was America. Knowing that he came from a place in America that had a lot of cases, which was Miami. And not self-quarantining. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be him. I always knew it would be him. Um, I just didn't know how. Now I know how because during this time that he was here, he continued doing his show. He does not have a live audience, but he does have a cameraman. He does have guests. He does have a family. Um, surprisingly, yes, there are people who willingly choose to be around this man. Um, he does have a biological child as well. And uh, that, those people would have been around them during this time. So. With that being said, if he had self-quarantined, wouldn't he have avoided exposing all of them to this? If he does, again, if he does have it, we don't have confirmation if he has it or not. That's the weirdest thing, right? Because even if it was true, he put on a whole, a whole film festival portrayal of it. Talking about how he, you know, how he, um, how, how it could have happened to he. Listen, it just Elba have it. Prince Charles have it. Who is you? Who is you? So anybody could anybody could get it and in any case, who is you? Even if anybody wasn't getting it and only the bottom of the barrel was getting it, he was getting it still, sir. So I don't know what you're getting on so far. Anyhow, so we still don't know we don't have any real kind of confirmation whether or not he does have it, but everybody is assuming that he does. And um Yeah, of course his um privacy is going to be it's going to be preserved to whatever extent right whereas everybody else privacy pfft, out the window but anyhow that's for a little later in the conversation right so that's what's going on in that um aspect so in that also he has his son film him and you can tell that he take he, he did takes he did several takes because he's like i'm ready all right uh i don't want to leave you i don't want to leave you go daddy go daddy and had the son crying on the place where well, the son is actually crying um, that's up for the bait children who cry for everything um, and also it is sad even if your father is forcing you to make a video it is sad that um <laughs> it is sad that he has to leave even if he does not actually have the disease so he reveals this on to everybody right and basically sets him up to be bullied because that's how people in this country work um, when they they the home and they they can't go outside and party and they can't go outside and lime so they becoming terrible people so they'll talk about a child so they have this child now and people make a whole twitter page for the child people you know saying all kind of things about the child and the child's appearance and the child looks and the size and 
who 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 whoever breed Ian Allen and is asexual reproduction and all kind of different bacchanal because naturally that's what nice people say about other human beings and um, now the child is doing the same attention seeking type of behaviors where he's just making a bunch of videos and you know playing up the situation of course because that runs in their blood and I hope when or if Ian Allen of the cop's husband has to go to Cora that they hook up an IV access and run some Earn some attention through his veins because he don't need no ventilator and thing. That's the only thing that will help you is attention through his veins. That's the only thing. Trust me. Trust me. Believe me. That's my medical professional opinion there, right? Right. So, all that happened. And, uh, yeah, my eyebrows going to be a mess for the next... You, you can see, like, I have long eyebrows. They're just very, very far away. My eyebrows going to be a mess until this whole thing is over because I don't know who going to do that for me. Yeah, anyhow. So, um, you only... You only tend to forget that the government is a serious body, a serious institution with serious people who take their jobs seriously. So in um, the fact that they did not mention Cork's husband during the press conference was intentional. So Akash, <laughs> Akash had to mention him of course and he had to mention him by name because that's just the type of... <sighs> That's the type of journal, journalist that we have coming up in this new generation. I have nothing against Akash. Um, I quite like him actually as a human being. I've met him before and he's a cool, cool guy. But um, you know, a little more. You know, don't take don't take chin up from don't take chin up from Twitter because a lot of people on Twitter they're very educated, they're very smart, and they still have no di no direction in life. So don't take chin up from Twitter and make them ask make you ask questions and that is your job and you have your professionalism supposed to be on display doing your job and you didn't do it because you were people wanted that to laugh anyway so he asked about it and they were like is that about no personality <laughs> or no celebrity or anything so they shoot down the idea but in summary um oh also in the video when this man was crying he crying he crying he crying for his son which you know cute cute we love to see a father present for his child we love it we love it we love it um, but why is this man wiping his snot, his mucus from his nose, where he could get droplets that carry this virus? He's wiping this. And he will have to take off the, 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 the camera for the phone. And he will take the phone from whoever it is filming him, which is most likely his son. And you'll have to touch him or have him. It's just a lot of irresponsible illness behavior, which is what I am scared of in the first place. So. Again, conclusion, we don't know what's going on, right? I'll finish the browse and I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, I don't normally bake, but, um... Because, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. You just dry out your under eyes and that's literally dry as past your face. But, I had more to say. And I do my makeup in, like, 10 to 20 minutes, so... I couldn't talk that much so I said okay might as well do an eye look and I kind of subtly promised myself that I would try to do more eye looks because I need to practice and I don't practice so that's why I don't learn that's why I'm not good at it so you know I said that I will start to practice I don't want to be naked on YouTube yeah so I said that I'll try it I'll start to practice by actually doing looks so I'm using this Juvia's place the magic mini it's usually always clean. I just got dirty last time I used it and I didn't notice until I picked it up today. So this is it. And it has nice cute little colors. And it is one of one palette that I own. <laughs> I don't own makeup. I don't buy makeup. I don't know. Anyhow, the next person I was going to talk about was Olya, opposition leader that Olya, Olya had elect. Well, yeah, that was. Right? Um, so she decided to take it upon herself to announce a death from this disease. A death that obviously we were not looking forward to hearing about, um, even though we were expecting to hear about one eventually because we are aware that most of the persons who currently have this disease are elderly and that is the demographic, um, basically the demographic that is... Um, passing away right 
So she decides to announce this death and attach to it her political agenda as opposition leader. And as opposition leader, everything that they say so far during this whole pandemic times has been opposing common sense. That's the only thing they have been opposing. Common sense. So she comes out and say, so and so and so and so, and so passed away and it's unfortunate. This is why you should have a state of emergency because she push, she pushing this state of emergency thing, right? Even though she was saying, oh, how it's it, 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 it unconstitutional for the prime minister to have people close the bars. This is the same woman who said that same exact thing. Now calling, talking about um, state of emergency. So we saw that last night and all of us were like, who the hell? I mean, because as I said, we expected it. I expected to hear about her death sometime, you know, if not yesterday, then today. If not today, then tomorrow, right? That's just the nature of the virus. That's just the nature of what the disease does and who it targets and the effect that it has, right? So, really before the family had time to catch the self for the news, Madame decides to bring out the news and as I said, to attach her little political agenda to it. And rightfully so, most of the country were disgusted. Most of the country were rightfully so disgusted. But then there was a fraction of people who were like, well, we will see if she's right or not, whether she was, she was right. It turned out that she was right. Her being right does not affect the fact that she was irresponsible and she's a big woman and she's supposed to know better she's supposed to be an educated woman she's supposed to be somebody who is for the people and hence exhibit empathy she did none of those things she is anti common sense she is anti ethics she is anti protocol and hence she's dangerous and therefore she should not be any part of the government at all opposition leaders are very poor you're supposed to, you're supposed to pull you're supposed to pull the government up when something going off, when they do something wrong, when they you know, ain't making sense. I don't trust you. I do not trust you right now. I do not want you there. And I really, 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 I really, I hope, I hope, I hope that this family has a grounds for some sort of um, legal... Well, what am I looking for? for to, to sue, basically. I hope that this family has grounds to sue because before they have time to let their extended family know, before they have time to register the debt completely in the brains, before they have time to catch the cells, you reveal and think to the media. That's not right. And then whoever it is in that hospital, whoever it is in that hospital, who let all that information and tell that opposition leader it, you're dotish. You're very stupid. And you're educated because you're working in the hospital, but you're dotish. You're very stupid. And take that from me. You're very, very stupid. Because look what you do. you destabilizing an entire country just because you want to be first to gossip. You are tea. Somebody dying is tea for you. Sip, sip. Wonderful. So, all of that get me real vexed. As I say, I really cannot continue my day without talking about this kind of things. Because I, as a man, I would always say I became a doctor because I want to help people, right? I would never think about going into politics. That's just not my thing. Just not my thing, but I really feel like... I really feel like you all might need me. I really feel like I might have to do it. I really feel like what you all going to do without somebody like me? So I might, ha I might have to run for a little something because look at, look at all the options. <laughs> look at all the options. So now she, she is clung. She is clung, clung too. Oh, I have some singles as well, which I use occasionally. Yeah, so there she, that's her. She is clung too. And then it have the whole die hard UNC fans fans, <laughs> not supposed to be fans, a party, not supposed to have fans, but you know the diehard UNC voters who will be like, well, she was right, and the public have a right to know, we do have no right to know as soon as somebody dead, as soon as time of death, whatever, whatever, PM, and we know one minute later, that's not our right as a public, that's not our right at all. Our right as a public is to have an idea of what happens when it is that the people who are close, who are actually affected by it, when they know about it. And this is the same the same scenario that I that happens when I when I comment and I report things on Facebook where there's an accident and there's somebody who passed away. And of course people sharing it, of course people stand up on the roadside and taking pictures. But if it was your family member and you was vex, and your vex, if it's your mother who lied down on the floor and your vex, if it's your father, if it's if it's your child, your vex, but you're sharing it, okay. And everybody hear the thing, the thing, the way how this world set up right now, everybody have a chance. Everybody have time. Everybody go and get a chance to, unfortunately, I'm very sorry to say, everybody go and get a chance where 
you or somebody that you love gonna be in a traumatic situation and people have the camera phones or people have the, 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 the mouth to talk about it and they will end up talking about it. So if it is that you will want to be in the wrong consistently, then I have no pity for you. I have no pity for you at all. So if you want to continue being the wrong, then fine. And unfortunately, as disappointed as we all are, are we really surprised? Is this really out of our character? No, it's not out of our character. And look, only at the end of the day, look at the choices we have. Me, whoever vex, whoever vex, you have to comment down below. I do not, unlike most YouTubers, I do not hide my comments. I allow everybody to comment. If I feel like replying, I reply. If I don't feel like replying, then I'll leave you just so you say your opinion. Okay, fine. So you can comment down below and talk or whatever. But if you're saying total nonsense, I will cuss you. We will end up in a fight. That's it. I want to your comment. We will end up fighting. That's all. Once I have time, it might be today, it might be tomorrow, it might be the day after because I'm busy. Once I have time, you'll end up getting cussed, right? And you're gonna get cussed in a beautiful, concise, educated way. So you can go ahead and try to challenge me in that way. But people who are die hard anything, die hard pain, I'm die hard you and see, die hard whatever, 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 party, Y'all are the scum of the earth. Y'all are the scum of this country. Because the thing that you're supposed to do, once I hear once I, once I hear you die hard anything, I write you off totally. Oh, my my whole family is PNM. My whole family is just, mm -mm. You, you dead to me one time. You have no opinion. You have no opinion that is valid in my eyes. Because at the end of the day, you're supposed to see who it is that you're electing. What it is that they're promising for the country. And what you need to do at that point in time is then decide who you want to vote for. And I keep saying that in my things she needs me to leave in whatever year. I did things she needs me to leave in 2019. And I did things she needs me to leave in 2018. And I said that twice. That you all need to leave that PNM UNC stripping behind. Because sometimes a party that you like and a party that you're going for just elect stupid people <laughs> that's it so you're you're the person that you, the party the person running the party is a stupid person but the party is what they are custom voting for you still vote for that party just because you don't want somebody of a certain race to not end up in the party and i'm a listen i real i real normal i grew up around racist people my whole life i grew up in central trinidad one of the things <laughs> one of my lecturers big doctor one of my lecturers um i say i from um from Kunapir and he lives in front of the whole class he say he say um Negro people just live there and everybody laugh everybody laugh well yeah Negro people yes Negro people do live in Kunapir yes we do exist but as I, I grew up around we used my whole life I was a I, I, I excelled I excelled academically my whole life you feel them they didn't like that people did not like that so I hear okay I hear okay, I can't tell about myself. Did it ever bother me? No. <laughs> Racism never bothered me in my entire life because at the end of the day, you ain't gonna make me less smart, you ain't gonna make me less beautiful. You ain't have no impact. You being a racist, that will just mean that I have less people to interact with and I am um, somebody who don't like to talk to too much people. So, that never bothered me. So, that thing gonna bother me, right? And then, much like every well, much like most Trinidadians, I don't want to give the impression that every Trinidadian is of mixed race, but anyway, I have all kind of thing in me, and my last Indian family member that I meet, that, well, obviously I would have met him before, but the last interaction that I had with him, he telling me, first of all, he's drunk, so, shh, he is stereotype, he's drunk, and we are at my a grandmother's house, and he is telling me what I do with my life, me, a doctor. He's asking me what I do with my life. His doctor, his um, his, his doctor, his daughter, his daughter, so smart and working on going to the moon. And you know, the Indian the Indian people had a brain. And I'm just like, okay, because as I say, at the end of the day, she working on going to the moon. I highly doubt she working on NASA. I highly doubt. And the, the, the space program was cut, so I highly doubt. I'm like, at the end of the day, I am a doctor still. I am still a high achieving personality and then he hit on me and i'm like dude we related leave my alone <laughs> so um yeah no this them kind of things about me so much so if i want to you know say a little racist things down below that's fine that's none of my business right so what i was saying All right so people using it are obviously for the political agenda now so they're using a pandemic for a political agenda and I think we're the only people in the world doing that. I do not think that happening anywhere else in the world. Imagine that people dying. People, you could, you could say these are people dying because people, somebody died. Somebody has died. And we, we making it political. I love us, you know. I love us, but I don't love this part at all. Anyway, I'm just going to finish up this look and I'll 
finished and I'll come back with clung tree. All right, so clung tree. Former minister, Devant Maraj, right? I said on Twitter to call him Deviant. And yeah, he is a Deviant uh, common sense. So Mr. Deviant decide. He decide to release the information of the person who passed away. And he released their name, the full government name. And uh, he also released their history, as in the travel history, basically saying that he is privy to the information that is not an imported case, that this person was here and his 14 days of quarantine passed since he returned. So it's either primary contact or community transmission. That's what he's trying to imply, right? As well as he gave the person's address, as in the full address where they live in, as in I can pick up myself and go by the person. House, right? And all I want to know is why. Why? That's the all all I want to know is why. <laughs> why? I can't we don't need to know that. That's not that's, that's not public information. That's not necessary to know. That's for people to know for close relatives to know. You can't have a funeral with more than ten people anyway. So what are we go do? We can't pray for the man if he he done passed away already. So what get what getting his name gonna do for us? You just want tea. Use a use a, use a drama channel. You 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 use the new year and Allen. So what we that was he did that over Twitter because you know of course that is official correspondence website come on you're not in your 50s or your 60s these people all these people who give in trouble all these people um, i don't want to see it all all are y'all who give in trouble yeah all these people who are talking about in this video you all will be at risk of this actually taking your life so you better sit down and pad down and behave and say some prayers all right and they push in this state of emergency agenda just because it's the opposite of what the government decided to do, right? If the government said state of emergency, they would have said that's too drastic and the citizens have rights and all that stuff. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact, right? You all have no opinions. You all, if, if you all were in power at this point in time, you all would not have the ability to come up with anything conclusive to figure out what it is that needs to be going on in this country. I know that for a fact, right? And you push in this state of emergency thing. The state of emergency thing is not going to impact if people wash their hands. Wash all your hands and stay inside all your house. So they have two directives. Wash all your hands, stay inside all your house. Two things. That don't change regardless of if one or one hundred people die. Still wash your hands, still stay inside your house. State of emergency thing is not going to happen with the number of imported cases increasing. It will happen if there is a high risk of community spread or if there is evidence of community spread. Why? Because the economy cannot handle it. People train out the treasury and everybody who comes Everybody who come in power say that everybody else drain out the treasury. Somebody somebody had to have done it. At the end of the day, we do not have the money to sustain it. But anyway, that's what I wanted to say about these people. I don't know what else. Um, y'all can comment down below what y'all think about them. Um, don't really don't uh, I invited y'all to, to to come back now a little bit, but don't cut up my head with too much chippiness. Like go on your personal Facebook page and talk about it or something. Cause I over time whenever I see people like post racist or you know just anti common sense things I will just subtly delete them so this happened and it so happened that everybody on my profile was saying something sensible actually actually most people just this one person are giving her a bligh I give her a bligh because I don't think they're going to great with her and she will notice if she will notice if I delete her so I give this one a bligh but for the most part, most people actually were making some kind of sense. So I was glad I did a very good calling of my Facebook page. And I suggest that everybody else does that as well. Also, remember that anybody could end up in that situation. And if you wouldn't like it for yourself, and you wouldn't like it for your grandfather, and you wouldn't like it for your grandmother, then don't do it to other people because you're not that special. At the end of the day, nobody ain't special. All right? So... To try to separate yourself from other people to say they deserve it and we deserve to know and if it was your grandfather you would have x right so that's the end of this video if y'all enjoyed this video then let me know um i don't think i'll ever do a type of video like this again because i mean i guess i pulled off the look considering that talking is a distraction oh i would have fixed my eyes let me fix my eyes and come back yeah, that's the best I could do. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure and click subscribe. And I know you're all giving support to all of these people that I talk about. So, give me some support to share this video as well. Or just share my channel in total. I don't usually do videos like this. This is not my usual style. But I really feel like I had so much on my brain. I know I feel so relieved because I get to quarrel. 
I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. I like that. Anyway, so um, also leave a like down below. You can leave a comment down below as well. And don't forget to turn on your notifications when you subscribe. Also follow me on other social media at Kim Kujo, Twitter, Instagram, on Facebook. So that you know what I'm up to because what I'm what I'm going to be doing is not going to be on the channel for a while because I have a few more video ideas that I need to get out first. But things are going to change. So I'll see you later in the next video. Bye. Love so long, love so strong When I look into your eyes, all the stars align She on a different vibe, a different high, got to make her mind So I step to the shawty, ain't got no time to waste to my